Hi everybody. Let me discuss about the nitrate reduction test. This test is used to detect the enzyme nitrate reductase which is produced by some bacteria. Three solutions are needed to do the test. First is the nitrate broth which contains potassium nitrate, pepton and water. 5 ml of this broth is taken in a test tube and a Durham's tube is inserted in it to detect gas production. After sterilization by autoclaving, this solution can be used. Second, we need a solution called solution A which is prepared by dissolving 8 grams of sulfanilic acid in 1 liter of acetic acid. Next, we need solution B which is made by dissolving 5 grams of alpha naphthylamine in 1 liter of acetic acid. We can use Escherichia coli 80 cc 25922 as the positive control and Acentobacter calcoacidicus 80 cc 43498 as the negative control. To do the test, inoculate the bacteria in 5 ml nitrate broth and incubate for 24 hours. Next day, add 6 to 8 drops of solution A followed by 6 to 8 drops of solution B. A red color develops immediately if the test is positive, that is, if the bacteria reduces nitrate to nitrite. If a red color does not develop, there can be two possibilities. Either the test is negative, that is, the bacteria does not produce nitrate reductase enzyme, or the test is positive, but here nitrate got reduced to nitrite and further reduction converted this nitrite to nitrogen gas which has escaped from the media and it is same inside the Durham's tube. To confirm the reaction, add about 20 mg of zinc dust to the broth where we have already added solution A and solution B. Zinc is a reducing substance. So if a red color develops within 3 minutes, that means the bacteria was nitrate negative. Only on adding zinc, the nitrate got reduced. If there is no color change on adding zinc, that means that the bacteria was nitrate positive. That is the nitrate got reduced to nitrite which further got reduced to nitric oxide, nitrous oxide or nitrogen gas. This gas can be seen in the Hums tube. Let me tell you in detail about the principle of this test. Bacteria reduce nitrate by two mechanisms that is assimilation and dissimulation. In assimilation reaction, the nitrate is reduced to nitrite which is further reduced to ammonia by a series of reactions. This ammonia is used by the bacteria for the biosynthesis of amino acids and other nitrogenous compounds. In dissimulation, the bacteria reduces nitrate to nitrite which is acted upon by many enzymes to reduce it finally to nitrogen gas. Here ammonia is not formed in any reaction. This reaction is coupled to ATP generation primarily for energy metabolism. Here nitrate or nitrite serve as the final electron acceptor in the absence of free oxygen or when free oxygen is less. This process allows aerobic bacteria like Pseudomonas aeruginosa to grow anaerobically. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a bacteria that can reduce nitrogen by both assimilation and dissimilation. Whether it be by assimilation or dissimilation, nitrate gets reduced. When we add solution A and solution B, the sulfanilic acid and nitrite will react to form a diazonium salt. This diazonium salt couples with alpha naphthylamine to produce a red water soluble azo dye called prontosil that is para sulfa benzene azo alpha naphthylamine instead of alpha naphthylamine we can use cleaves acid which is 0.13 percent of alpha naphthylamine 7 sulfonic acid now let me tell you about other methods of doing nitrate test suppose you want the nitrate results on the same day Bashman and Weaver method is there. Here take 1 ml of nitrate broth which is made from pepton, meat extract, potassium nitrate and distilled water and heavily inoculate the bacteria into it. That is two loop full of the bacterial colony has to be inoculated and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. 
After that, we can add three drops of solution A and three drops of solution B. A red color develops within five minutes if nitrate is reduced. Then we have another method which is called NCTC micro method. This test is done with very small quantities of broth and reagents, hence called the micro method. Here the nitrate medium is made by using sodium nitrate that is 0.05% and a buffer is added to it that is 0.25 molar phosphate buffer and the pH is maintained at 6.8. Take 0.08 ml of this medium and inoculate 0.04 ml of a heavy suspension of bacteria. After one hour of incubation at 37 degrees Celsius, add 0.06 ml of solution A and solution B. A red color develops within 1 to 2 minutes. Another method is by using blotting papers. The blotting paper strips of 16 into 10 millimeters are soaked in a warm solution of 40% potassium nitrate and they are dried. Place a strip in the center of a blood agar plate. Stab inoculate the organisms to be tested in the periphery of the plate and incubate for 48 hours. If the bacteria reduces nitrate, nitrite will be released which will cause greenish brown color formation around the colony due to the reduction of hemoglobin to meth hemoglobin. Another method is by incorporating 0.1% potassium nitrate into blood agar. Streak the bacteria onto this blood agar and if the bacteria reduce nitrate, there will be apparent greenish brown pigmentation around the colony. Here again the nitrite reduces hemoglobin to methemoglobin. Nitrate is an important test to identify mycobacterium tuberculosis which is nitrate positive. Most other common mycobacteria are nitrate negative. Here a highly buffered solution of sodium nitrate is used. Here we have to use three reagents. Re Reagent 1 is called hydrochloric acid solution. That is it has concentrated hydrochloric acid 10 ml and distilled water 10 ml. So as you all know always add acid slowly to distilled water and never vice versa. Next comes reagent 2 which is sulfanilamide solution. 0.2% for which you have to add sulfanilamide 0.2 grams in distilled water 100 ml. Dissolve sulfanilamide in distilled water and store in an amber colored bottle in the refrigerator. Reagent 3 is n naphthyl ethylene diamine solution 0.1%. Taking this solution we have to dissolve n naphthyl ethylene diamine in distilled water that is 0.1 gram is taken and dissolved in 100 ml water and stored in an amber colored bottle in the refrigerator. The entire procedure must be carried out in a biological safety cabinet. Add 0.2 ml of distilled water in a test tube which is screw capped and take two loopfuls of colonies of positive culture of mycobacterium tuberculosis and emulsify in this water. Now we have to add 2 ml of sodium nitrate solution which we had made mixed properly and place it in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. Remove the tube from the water bath and add 1 drop of reagent 1 and 2 drops of reagent 2 and 2 drops of reagent 3. Examine immediately for the development of a pink to red color. Here also zinc dust can be added to confirm a negative test. Nitrate discs are available for testing nitrate reductase in anaerobes. If a pure anaerobic isolate is obtained in thioglycolate broth or other anaerobic media, take a colony and streak it on brusella blood agar. Select one well isolated colony and streak the first quadrant of the plate back and forth several times to ensure even distribution of the organism and streak the other quadrants for isolation. Place the nitrate disc on the heavily inoculated part of the plate using the forceps. Subsequent discs for presumptive identification of anaerobes can be placed on the plate. Incubate the plate anaerobically at 37 degrees Celsius for about 48 hours until good growth of the organism is evident. Remove the disc from the surface of the plate and place it on a clean glass slide or petri dish. Add one drop each of anaerobic nitrate reagents A and B to the disc. If no color develops within 3 to 5 minutes, 
add a small amount of zinc dust and wait for 5 minutes and observe for a color change. Another method for detecting nitrate reduction is mannitol motility media. We know that it is used to detect mannitol fermentation and motility of the bacteria. But this media has got potassium nitrate as an ingredient. Nitrate reducing bacteria can be detected by the presence of gas in this media. Another test is grease nitrate test. Normally urine does not have nitrite. If nitrite is detected in the urine, it indicates the presence of nitrate reducing bacteria in the urine. This is a test used to detect urinary tract infection. Grease reagent is added to a urine sample and a red color develops if the urine has nitrate reducing bacteria. Grease test is also used to find the presence of nitrite content in water samples. Majority of the bacteria reduce nitrate. So let me give you some examples of bacteria that do not reduce nitrates. Acinetobacter species, Bordetella species, Helicobacter pylori, Streptobacillus monliformis, Bartonella, Listeria monocytogenes, Erysiplothrex, anaerobes like Bacteroids, Fusobacterium, Flavobacterium meningoseptical, some strains of Stenotrophomonas maltophila, Burkholderia sepaceae, Swingomonas, Alkaligens faecalis, Vixella, Bergiella, Empedobacter species, Arcanobacterium, etc. Among Vibrio, we have Vibrio machinicovi, which does not reduce nitrate. Similarly, among Pseudomonas, we have Pseudomonas putida and Pseudomonas oryzae habitans, which are nitrate negative. Among Corine bacteria, there are a large number of them that do not reduce nitrate. Some examples are Corine bacterium GKM, Corine bacterium pseudotuberculosis, so Corine bacterium regali, ulcerans, urolyticum, etc. Neisseria gonorrhoeae and Neisseria meningitis do not reduce nitrate whereas Morex cellar reduces nitrate. This is a major test used to differentiate between Neisseria and Morex cellar. Majority of the Streptococci do not reduce nitrate except Streptococcus sanguis which reduces nitrate. So that's all about the nitrate reduction test shown by bacteria. Thank you.